Hey guys, we're here at the ATA Show 2018 and we're actually in the Gold Tip booth and we're going to talk to Connor about some of the brand new arrows that Gold Tip's releasing here today. Absolutely. So this year we don't have a ton going on as far as brand new arrows, but we do have some differences as far as how we measure them and what we're basically the branding, what it looks like on them. So, so first, so we have our target lined up and before we had a, a 5,000 straight in the shaft. So for now we had like our triple X, um, our 30X and they're just the standard. Then we have our pro of everything, which our pro is a, a 1,000 straight in the shaft. So what we have changed this year is before, um, basically what is needed is you, you put the arrow over 28 inch span and they do one, one laser in the center and that's how the, the straightness is measured. From here on out, and it's already started, all of our arrows uh, and then our target lineup will have three measuring. So basically you'll have a laser in the center, a laser on each end. So that way when you spin it, people aren't seeing the run out on the end. You're just getting a straight arrow all the way throughout the shaft. It's not just in the center. And so by doing that, we're able to get, so we don't have any more 5,000 straightness shafts. So all of our target arrows will have the pro being a 1,000 straightness. And we have new labels on all, all of our target shafts because we have what's called the plus now. So we've got the 22 plus, we've got the 30X plus, we have plus models in all of them. So we've got our Pro being the 1000 straightness. It's so like we have our Triple X Pro, and we've also got the Triple X Plus. And so like for example, we've got the 22 Pro right here, 1000 straightness shaft, we have the 22 Plus. So this is a, a 0025 straightness shaft versus a 005. So a lot straighter shaft than the lower model, um, but we still have our Pro. Um, so this will, those will be our, our target shaft will be the same all the way through between our 22 series, X cutter, 993 nine, max. We've got the Pro and the Plus and all of them. Same with the 30X and also the Triple X Pro. So that's going to be the main difference between our target shafts last year and this year. So a lot of the folks that are out there asking and watching and they're saying, okay, so there's so many arrow manufacturers out there. Uh -huh. What makes you guys so special as to why people would want to buy gold tip arrows? I think the biggest thing, I mean, you can see we've got our arrow breaker on the other side that we can go take a look at, but the biggest difference is ours are made with 100% carbon versus you look at and you, and you 99% of the other manufacturers have other things going on in them, whether it be an aluminum, whether it be impregnated with fiberglass or other materials. And what happens there is people think they're shooting the spine out of, an arrow, out of an arrow. What's actually happening is just over time, I mean, you shoot an arrow into a target, you have to go pull it from the target. Once you pull it, doing the putting different stresses on it, cause the arrow to actually stretch and bend. And so putting it on a spinner after shooting it for a short amount of time will cause it to now have a bend in it and it doesn't spin straight anymore. For ours, our new slogan this year is um, start true, stay or start tough, stay true, meaning that you can shoot your arrow over and over and over for years and it's still going to hold that same straightness tolerance. It's not going to come out of straightness like the other brands. I think that's the biggest thing. And obviously durability is one of our top things. I mean, the arrow breaker shows that true. Yeah, we'll want to take we'll take a walk over there so we can show the audience Absolutely. that. Absolutely. But that's something that I know even target shoot. I mean, we shoot 3D leagues, my, myself and the, the camera guy. Yeah. We'll shoot 3D leagues and then, you know, you go out and shoot, you know, you're getting ready for the archery season, you go out and shoot 3D, just getting ready. Yeah. And, you know, you hit that target wrong and there's a wobble in it. You just Absolutely. you just know. So what you're saying is these these are going to run true all the way straight through. So Absolutely. Well, no, so our pros are 1,000 straightness. It'll, 1, it's going to stay in that 1,000. Yeah, so something like, so for example, so this 22 series pro is a 1,000 straightness. This is our lower model, the 22 um, plus. So this is going to be a 2,000 straightness, a 0025, and so it'll stay within that. So that's, I think, the biggest thing is you get what you pay for. You don't, it doesn't run out six months later. So, and then I can show you guys that on the spinner. All right. Here. All right. So we've got three extremely common shafts. So we've got the Easton Full Metal Jack FMJ, our Gold Tip Hunter Pro. We've got a Beam and ICS Hunter. Um, and so these, I grabbed these three, kind of shows three different layouts. So like the Beam and ICS Hunter um, has, is filled with fiberglass on the inside, similar to the Easton Axis and many other, where the FMJ has um, a layer of aluminum on the outside. And so, so what we're gonna do here, so they'll all spin well. You put them on a the spinner, and they're all gonna spin well. You put them on there, and all three arrows will, I mean, out of the box, every, every arrow spins well. Right. And so the big difference, though, is if, say, you spend $200 on all, all a dozen of these arrows for each one, Problem is though, so if I grab this Beeman ICS Hunter, grab it, and just just put like the slightest bend in it, put it back on the shaft, and you see the wobble in it now. Oh, yeah. And you see how much how out of straightness it comes. That's from the fiberglass bending in the inside. So, same thing with the FMJ. Even worse, you have to put very little bend in this shaft and put it back on there, and it now bounces <laughs> oh, off the spinner. Oh. So that's I mean that's that's the worst of that. So then you can grab 
the Hunter Pro here, grab it and you can, I can hold it a bend in it for a long time, put it back on the shaft, on the spinner, spin it and it spins true still. Which to me, I mean the durability test is awesome, but to me this is a lot more impressing just because you're keeping an arrow straight that you paid for. Yeah, forget forget breaking the arrow. I mean, if it's going to wobble like that when you put it, I mean, it, yeah, you can't even use it at this point. Forget exactly. forget breaking it. I mean, it's still useless at this point. Yeah, and that's why people think that they've shot the spine out of an arrow. It's really when you're pushing the string down the back of your shaft, they think they've shot the spine out. When really, it's just when you put stress on the back of that arrow, when you have it running out and away, it's put really just no longer in straightness back. And so that's what people think that they're shooting the spine out when really that's what's happening. So. And so we can throw these in the breaker real quick and kind of show. So we'll we'll start off with the, uh, you get that knockout, we'll start with the Beeman ICS Hunter. So this is the full metal jacket going in here. He's going to break this one. So we've got a ruler over here you can kind of compare to see where different arrows are breaking at. That way you can see you wanna... where they compare to. Can you come up closer, Cody? And... Oops, So this is a way to torture test an arrow. At home. At home, yeah. Kids, don't try this at home. It's being done by trained professionals. Boom, right there. So we're at 32 and a half, it looks like, over there on the scale. Yeah, the pretty close. You can see that aluminum powder. Only bent. Demon. And this is the mo this is the most common. Yeah, these are just common arrows. We can do. We can throw in a carbon. Yeah, but these are the common ones that everybody shoots. Yeah, just about. yeah same definitely. diameter, same everything. That's why we put them against each other. So that's at thirty-two and a half, right? I have a feeling this one's going to break sooner. Yeah. I have a good feeling it will too. Wow, I'm, surpri I'm surprised you're getting that much out of it. Yeah. Oh, oh, just almost the same spot. Oh, yeah, just about. All right, we'll do. You guys want to do the Carbon Express first? Or you want to do the gold tip? Just, yeah, we'll just do the gold. We'll go do the gold tip. Yeah. Cool. You can see on the inside, you can see all the fiberglass coming out of it. Mm. Show him up on there. He's going to show right now on the, the, the camera here the, the fiberglass coming out. Cool. All right, so this is the Gold Tip Hunter Pro. Extremely common arrow, extremely popular arrow for hunting. And this is just a direct apples to apples comparison with the ICS Hunter. FMJ is a little bit smaller diameter, um, which actually are kinetic. Kinetic or Kinetic Chaos is really comparable to that arrow, which that arrow does even better than the Hunter Pro. It's, it's probably the most durable arrow out there. So this will be the Hunter Pro. Alright, so both of those last two arrows broke right there. If it spins true there it goes. after this, Oh yeah, it's like yeah. <laughs> this. Oh my! It breaks. Word. I don't know. That's that's incredible. Oh, almost oh! Well, when it broke, it broke. <laughs> Twenty-five and a half. So, so Twenty-five and a half. Seven inches difference. So it's bottom down. Ding your bottom down. Wow, wow! Seven inch difference from yeah. the compet from the competitor hours, and and you know that's that's what. I was asking about earlier, what really drives you to say, well, maybe I need to go with gold tip arrows. I think we just kind of yeah. showed why. And people will say, oh, you don't ever bend it that much, which you're absolutely right. But the reason for this test is just to show how strong the arrow actually is. Just to so show how um, how strong the resin and carbon content is in between versus something that has fiberglass or aluminum in it. So, so here's a question for you with that along those lines is how tough it is. When you're constantly shooting it and driving it, is there any impact on, on the, the the tip of the shaft where it would split, or is it the same toughness even for that? Like yeah. let's say, 
we've gone 3D shooting and somebody left a tip inside the, you know, the 3D target and you accidentally yeah, hit, it. hit it. Does this have the stability, you know, that where you maybe you're not going to split it, maybe you'll booger up your tip when it hits it. Yeah. Is this going to is this going to withstand that kind oh, of punishment? Ab absolutely. And we our component system is probably one of the best out there, honestly, both the components. So I mean, but it up for example with like our kinetic chaos, it has a ballistic collar and insert system that makes it more durable than anything out yeah. there. So yeah, so I mean it's yeah bar bar none, no matter what it's out there, it, it's the that's most durable shaft. That's awesome, made. awesome. I think we're gonna have to check that out. But thank you so much for your time with this, um, guys. Check them out. Tell them where, tell them where they can find you guys. Um, as far as where they can purchase our website. From. website. So, so our website's goldtip.com. Really simple. Um, I mean we sell the tons of dealers across the nation. But yeah, goldtip.com is where, where we're at. All right. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more here at ATA. 2018.